How does the gear ratio affect the speed of a model car? This is an important question to ask when building a solar-powered car for the Junior Solar Sprint Competition. Gear ratios can be intimidating because kits are available that come with a variety of large and small gears, giving many possible combinations and different gear ratios. You can even buy extra bags with even more gears in different sizes. In this video, we'll explain what gear ratio is and how you can begin to choose what's best for your car. First, we need to cover some terminology. The wheel in this diagram is attached to an axle, which is driven by the motor using two gears. The pinion gear is attached to the shaft of the motor, and the spur gear is attached to the axle. The gear ratio is defined as the number of teeth on the spur gear divided by the number of teeth on the pinion gear. For example, here, the pinion gear has 14 teeth, and the spur gear has 28 teeth. The gear ratio is 28 divided by 14, which equals 2. You would commonly call this a gear ratio of 2 to 1. For every complete rotation of the larger spur gear, the smaller pinion gear must rotate 2 times. You can see this here with a pinion gear with 8 teeth and a spur gear with 64 teeth. So there is a gear ratio of 64 divided by 8, or 8 to 1. The pinion gear must rotate 8 times for the spur gear to complete one complete rotation. This means that the gears slow down the rotation. The axle will rotate slower than the motor shaft. Now you might wonder, wait a minute, why would you ever want it to rotate slower? Why don't you just attach the wheel directly to the motor shaft so it spins as fast as possible? To answer that question, we need to talk about the difference between speed and torque. Speed refers to how fast the motor spins. This is usually measured in revolutions per minute, or RPM for short. Now, when talking about speed, be careful not to get the motor's rotational speed mixed up with the straight line or linear speed of the car, which is measured in units like meters per second or miles per hour. Torque is the twisting force, or how hard the motor spins. You don't need to worry about these units very much, but it's usually measured in gram centimeters or ounce inches for small motors. Your car needs torque to accelerate and overcome various types of friction, like friction in the rotating axle, rolling friction with the ground, and air resistance. Gears allow you to create a trade-off between speed and torque. Let's use our example of the pinion and spur gears with a 2 to 1 gear ratio. The pinion gear on the left will spin at a fairly high speed but have a low torque. The spur gear on the right will spin at a lower speed but it will have a higher torque. In this case, it will spin half as fast but, if we ignore friction, it will have twice as much torque. This answers the question of why you would ever use gears to decrease rotational speed. You're decreasing speed, but you're also increasing torque. Your goal is to find the optimal gear ratio that makes your car move the fastest so you can win the race. However, since all cars are different, there isn't a single answer to what's the best gear ratio. It depends on a variety of factors, like the weight of the car and the amount of friction it experiences from the axles and air resistance. So, to determine the best gear ratio for your car, you can do an experiment where you swap out different gears but keep all other factors for your car constant. Measure how long it takes your car to cover a certain distance using different gear ratios and that should allow you to determine the best one. If it's inconvenient for you to do all your testing outdoors, you can test indoors using a battery pack instead of the solar panel. However, Make sure you include the solar panel on your car even when testing indoors, since its added weight will affect the performance of the car. If you make significant changes to your car's design, you may need to test again to see if the optimal gear ratio has changed. To learn more about the Junior Solar Sprint, including how to build a basic car and how to enter the competition, check out the links in the description below this video.